Hello everyone. Today I will discuss with you a very important con concept in polity that is called parliamentary democracy. There are various forms of democracy. We know what is democracy. Basically, a democracy means a form of form of government in which power lies with people. Generally, we all refer Abraham Lincoln's definition, rule of people, by the people, for the people. But the gist of that definition is the uh, power lies with the people in democracy. As per the need of the time, various types of democracy has been developed in different countries. One of them is parliamentary democracy. Sometimes this is asked in exams, in one day exams also, simple meaning, what does it mean? And sometimes it can be asked in mains, civil services mains. So today, in brief, we will discuss what are the features and what are the other names by which this type of democracy is known. So another names of parliamentary democracy is are Westminster model. These are some different names. It is called Westminster model. Very popular in British. Westminster model is the form of government prevalent or in power in Britain. Britain that is also called parliamentary democracy. It is also called cabinet government. Cabinet government. Basically we are discussing the type of government formed under parliamentary democracy. The government formed under parliamentary democracy is known as Westminster model, cabinet government, also called responsible government, responsible government. So it can also be asked in a prelims exams like the government forms in parliamentary democracy is also known as Westminster model, cabinet government or responsible government. All these three are the name of government formed under parliamentary democracy. So these is the different names of government formed under parliamentary democracy. Now, what are the features of government formed in parliamentary democracy? That, that is the main issue. Under parliamentary democracy, under parliamentary democracy, government is formed by single party or coalition of parties, coalition of parties. When a single par party enjoys majority in the lower house of parliament, then the single party will form the government. If single party does not have the majority, then there will be a coalition government. So this is the one feature. Second, government is headed by, government is headed by prime minister. It means the leader of the government will be prime minister. So he will be the fountainhead of the all powers. He will be the center of all powers. Third, executive is responsible. to legislature. These are the features. 
executive is responsible and this respons responsibility is collective responsibility. Collective responsibility. It means executive is collectively responsible to the parliament or legislature. Executive is part of legislature. It means executive or the members of government come from legislature. Just in case of Britain or in case of India, the ministers has to be a member of any house of parliament. There is a time limit for six months they cannot be but after six months they have to be member of any house of the parliament that's why it is called executive is part of legislature under pa parliamentary democracy in case of india if we discuss in india constitution provide Constitution provides parliamentary form of democracy, a parliamentary form of government at both center and state level, at both center and state level. and clearly mentioned in article 74 and 75 article 74 and 75 for union and article 163 and 164 for state Indian constitution clearly mentions that at central level or at union level what kind of parliamentary government will be formed in article 74 and 75 and at state level article 163 and 164 is related with the parliamentary form of government for state. Some other features of parliamentary democracy, some other features. So far we have been discussing about the features of government formed under parliamentary democracy. Now some other features related to legislature like first there should be a bicameral legislature, bicameral legislature. For example in India we have House of People and House of States, Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. In Britain, there are House of Commons and House of Lords. Both India and Britain have adopted parliamentary form of democracy. Basically, India has taken this feature from Britain and India adopted it in Government of India in 1935 and from there, constitution makers included it in our constitution. So if there is a question from where we have taken parliamentary democracy, the answer should be government of India at 1935. Collective responsibility, collective responsibility of executive towards legislature. Real and titular, real and titular heads of government. We know in India real head is prime minister and titular head is president, right? Majority party rule, if 
single party enjoys majority in the lower house of this legislature, then it will make the government. If not, then there will be a coalition. Another feature is that we have already discussed that is Prime Minister is the center of all powers. PM is the center of all powers. One fact you should remember, parliamentary democracy has been taken from Government of India Act. 1935. So these are the important facts and content required for writing any answer related to parliamentary democracy. What kind of questions can be asked in means for short answer type like what is parliamentary democracy, what are the features uh, and uh, in five markers they can ask what do you mean by parliamentary democracy and write about the features of parliamentary democracy. They can also ask, write down the articles mentioned in our constitution related to parliamentary democracy. So that they will be article 74 and 75 for central government and article 163 and 164 for states. So that's all for the parliamentary democracy. In next video, we will discuss another concept of polity. So that's all. Thank you.